Hello everyone! In this video I'm going to show you how to add a new student to your contact list in Class In. So let's say you have a new student that you're going to be teaching and you want to add them to your contacts so when you start making classes for them you can easily add them to your class. So first of all, of course, the parent needs to install the Class In app on whatever device that they're going to be using for the class, and they can also install it on their phone. That way the parent has access to it after the class to check the information. So to find it on their phone or find it on a tablet or on their computer, they can install the app. So I'm going to show you what it's going to look like from the teacher side and from the student side. So I went ahead and installed it on my iPad. I had to create a separate account so I can show you both sides. So I had to use a different phone number for my student account. And then also, if you want to know what it looks like for the parent side, it looks very similar in their app store. A parent sent me this so they can see the words in English and in Chinese. And this parent was not familiar with Class In, and once I just told her the name of the app, she was able to find it very easily and install it very quickly. So I don't think there should be a problem for parents finding the app and installing it on their side. So I'm going to add my fake student, me, to my contacts. So when I go over to the left side over here, the top is always going to say the class in, and then the second one is my contacts. So I'm going to disappear here for a second. So I'm going to pull up my contacts. You can see I don't have very many contacts right now. I have a couple teachers and then one of my students, Amy, that I just added a couple days ago. I do have another student, but the mom has not added the contact yet. But I can show you in another video how to add a student to a class with them being in your contacts or without them being in your contacts. You could still do it either way. Having them in your contact list just makes it easier each time you need to start a new class. So I'm in my contact section. In the top where it says search, there's be a little plus sign. I'm gonna click on that plus sign and I'm going to add contacts. So you have three ways that you can add a new contact. I can either search by their phone number if you know their phone number and it will send them a request to their phone. I can send them a QR code that is specific for my contact list, or I can send a link. I prefer to send the link. You can just copy, hit the copy button, and then I have WeChat installed on my computer. I just go into my WeChat, find the parent, and paste it into my WeChat message. That way, when they click on that link, it automatically takes them into Class In, and they can accept that request. If you do the QR code, they would have to maybe do an extra step by um, taking a screenshot of the code and then scanning it with Class In. So for the purposes today, I'm actually going to do the QR code because I can just hold up my tablet. Let me pull this up right here. So I'm just gonna use my tablet to scan the code. So this shows you what the parent actually will see. So when they log into their class in, there's gonna be a little plus sign in the top corner. I'm gonna click on that. And then it's very similar to we, um, yeah, WeChat, where they can go and add and scan the QR code. So I'm gonna click on scan QR code. So here we go. And I'm going to scan the code that I have up on my computer. Hold on one second, okay. So here we go, and I just scan the QR code. So now it's telling me if I want to add. It says, hello, I am Kendall Student, because that's what I named myself in my student account. So I'm going to click on Add, and I'll show you. It says it was sent. Okay, so now I accepted, the student accepted the teacher's invitation to the contacts. So now let's take a look at what we see over here. So now I'm going to go, you're gonna notice in the top corner where it says new friends, it now says one. So I'm gonna click on that. And where is, here we go, popped up. So it says Kendall student. Even though I sent the request to the student and they accepted it, I now have to accept a request back from them. So when they accept it, it basically sent the teacher a request as well. So both sides have to accept the request. So I'm going to accept. And now 
we are in the both of each other's contact lists. So now I can see my friends, I have Kendall student added. So now I can double click and I can now send a message to my student. So once both sides have accepted, you might want to type in, hello, welcome to class in. So I've sent a message and now on the student side, I'll pop my video up again. So now I just see here, here's teacher Kendall. She sent me a message. Hello, welcome to class in. So now the student is added to my contact list and the teacher, me, is added to the student's contact list. So now we can communicate back and forth that way. And now when I go to add a class and I need that student in my class, I can add that student a lot faster and I don't have to send a request for the class every single time. I'm going to make a separate video about how to add a student to a class, two different ways, with them being in your contact list and without them being in your contact list. So hopefully this helps you get those students added and Hopefully the parents will accept those requests. I have one, I'm still waiting. Even though I've been having classes with her for the last couple weeks, I still need to get her to be added to my contact list so I don't have to keep sending her requests for every single class. If you have anything else that you want me to make a video for using ClassIn, just let me know. Have a good day. Bye everyone.